Hmm. Samira Jenna. This should be fun, right? <laughs> uh, Master Yi Jenna against the like the Rune Terra's best deck overall, at least. So yeah, this is supposed to be good against big decks. Uh, presumably Nasus, Benga, I guess. Okay, like, as an example, but there's no way this hand is a keep against the freaking Samira Jenna. I would like to fight pink stuff, like Mystic Shot. Yes, Mystic Shot. Acorn is decent, I guess, to block his Acorn if he runs Acorn. Uh, hopefully Acorn discounts I have a storm because I don't think I'm actually gonna play this. Remember, that's for sheep, that's fine. Basically, happen. get a hit off and I could just use Acorn to block for sheep as well. I'd like to find Master Yi as well, that wouldn't be that bad. Start discounting other cards. This is... I'm gonna just reshuffle this with Janna, aren't I? Aw, oh, man. Oh, that's kinda concerning. I'm gonna take two damage here. And one damage, take this well. I think I'm Mystic Shot this, right? Should be fine. I don't want to take too much early damage before I just die, and I don't, don't it's not like I have anything to play on turn 3 as well, so I gotta miss like this. Turn 3 is looking like a pass. Most likely gonna reshuffle Capsize and Yield into my deck. Luckling is also a good card, if only you would 3 mana, I can just play it. Oh, it does nothing on turn 3, wow. I guess gonna go Janna on turn 4 then, most likely. Sure. Definitely not concerning at all. I can actually recall Janna, that'd be kind of funny, but it does nothing really. I'm just gonna be, do this. He's really passing on turn 3, turn 4. Does he have a bad hand? Kinda weird because um, Samira Janna does have cheap, efficient spells and units most of the time, so it should not be. Yeah, he always has Janna. Top deck as well. Pretty lucky with him. I'll just pass here. You could attack and I could just go Idle Storm, I guess. I think I'll try to go for it because he's most likely gonna go his own idol storm. Wait, he doesn't have mana for it. My one is discounted by a con, so he could have his own mystic god. That's too fine on me. I think I'm forcing it now. I'm fine just letting my own oh a con as well. Hey, look at that. I can play it for zero mana. That's cool. So you don't have spells just yet though. Yep, mystic shot. That should be expected. I'll resolve here. At least I'm still killing off his uh Jenna, which is good news. His Jenna flipping is more of a threat than my Jenna flipping because he has cheap cards. I have more. Uh, expensive element cards anyway. Yeah, that's pretty good to snipe or something big. That's why I run this card since I, I'll i be drawing so much. I'm pretty sure I just play Acorn. I type Acorn first of all. Force him and see whether or not he stands on Mystic Shot like this. He doesn't, okay. Or mana by the way. Oh, that's concerning. Probably just doing this and commit here? Yeah. yeah, because this only lasts for one round, right? Yeah. I'm fine just part bang him with mana anyway. Then I can go properly into finding some wall wins as well. Oh I mean not here. I can play Master E, but since there's no flow prop, he won't actually get a power, but he will he will reduce spells in my hand by one cost. Uh, one of them at least, but I think I'd rather just pass. I think I'd rather have a spell mana so I can go clocking into the spell that I'm gonna be predicting most likely. Um that's not that bad I guess. It is an element card, so it passes every round the you know the six cost you have. Sadly, don't have it yet, so I'm most likely going Clockling here. Yeah, like that is insane. I think I'll go for that. Even though it's not discounted, at least it's 4 cost because it got discounted by Clockling itself, so it's sure. good. I think I'd rather snipe off Sabina, right? She's more of a threat, let's be real. Endless flares and stuff like that. It's not nice to deal with, and when she flips, she's gonna get ready anyway. There's no protection spells in this region, so this should be fine. Actually, probably you should've used Clockling above the tree too anyway, right? Because I cannot take too much damage, but I do have healing here. You see the Kinda sad I have drawing such expensive spells. I do have cheap spells by the way. Uh sure. That is actually kinda annoying though. That's probably the only elusive he runs, right? Because now Acorn won't be able to attack and you know won't be able to strike, won't be able to discount. Eh, sure. How's the pass here? Rah, seven. Mystic shot? Eh, that's not that bad, I guess. I think I'm just going to go Master Yi here. That should be fine, right? Just to develop Master Yi, it should not be a problem. Yeah, let's just play Master Yi. If he dies the world win, that's fine by me. Since he's not really a win condition, he is a slight win condition if he lives because, you know, he just discounts all the spells. But if he dies, he dies. That's not really a problem. I'm fine just playing an Acorn. Oh, not Acorn. Um, Clockling. This getting this discount could be game winning, I will say that. Like playing uh, duplicates of the bird is amazing. Endless healing is also amazing. He did play one whirlwind. I'm pretty sure he played two whirlwind, right? One this. No, that's mine. He played one whirlwind. Um one mystic shot. This as well. He does potentially have 
uh, more spells to ping this off. Janna could just be an overall good champion, but it does updraft, so. I think I go for Janna, weirdly enough. The 6 cost unit is too much of a high risk, high reward thing. Because I can easily just reach out for these two back, right? Which wouldn't be that bad, I guess. Mm, okay. I think I just attack like this, right? If these two go the one half, that's fine by me. I can just easily just Mystic Shot this unit. Mystic Shot? Yeah. Sure. I'll just resolve here. Since the 2 1 can just still block the 1 2 anyway. Pass. Oh, let's see you again. What's up? You need so I'm just blocking like this and blocking like this. I could just do this, I guess. Sure. Just deny most damage. Should be fine. I think I pass here, right? Should be okay to pass here. Nah, let's break Janna here. If you die, she dies. Most likely, she will die, let's be real. There's no way she actually lives here. Against uh, Janna, Samira die because they have endless pink spells. Blowback, Mystic Shot. Um, oh, he might be looking for it, I guess. Sure. Since he draw 3 cards with these 2 already, uh, I'm pretty sure Whirlwind is discounted now, so that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Ah. Okay, I'm presuming he's gonna go for the 2 mana ping 1 to face and ping 1 to Janna. Uh, yeah, pass. He's going for that. There's no way he isn't. Yep, that's an element card after all. Should I run that in my deck? I'm not quite sure. I feel like it's kind of bad. He's only picking one. And I'm, I'm not in Nox, so I don't have ac access to Disintegrate anyway. So, might not be a good idea. Not healing, Mystic Shot, sure. More healing. I think I just play you. If you die, you die. It's horrible. But if I can get to do this, this is insane, right? I can just get two free birds and start doing this as well to heal for six and draw four. Why not? I think it's worth it to give it a shot. And it actually pays off, so I have to go just go for this. Get two decently sized birds and draw two cards as well. Why not? And I can go for this next, and if she actually lives for one more turn. I can't really go for this, but I then go for this, right, to get duplicated this turn, because I'd rather have units on board. They're pretty tanky as well. The knight is decent, I guess. Oh, that's pretty good. Sadly, I can't play it, though. Ah, uh, he's passing. Do I attack? I think I just attack. If he blocks, he blocks. Not yep. Another step. Makes sense. I think he tanks the 5 damage, and... Oh, okay. Come on, can you stop burning me down? This is so boring. Eh, it should be fine though. I'm gonna keep for 6. Hopefully I find like another Mystic Shot. Or start another Whirlwind to ping the na the There's two Clocklings, so I would be great to just ping both of them all. I'm sure. Here in he slowly run- Oh, he's refilling spell mana. Does he have another Whirlwind that he's want he wants to play? Oh, come on. This guy sucks. Eh, uh, sure. Resolve. At least I still get the two birds also. There's still a pretty tanky bird on board. He's kind on top deck now, basically. That's pretty decent, I guess, for me to develop a unit, but at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm just going all spells here. I'll play a cheap one. Give me Mystic Shot. Um, that's not Mystic Shot. Uh, probably just skip block here. And just take the 2 damage. I think I'll just updraft you to draw a card. Jenna, Master Yi, <laughs> stop giving me capsize against a. Samira Janna deck. Okay, sure. Let's yeah, go with this to be mana efficient. You have my favor. I'm not gonna freaking recall a Janna. Should I? Probably not a good idea. Giving him more updraft ability. I think I'm fine just passing here. The Give me the 6 course here in the game. The Let's go. Okay, play this and play this. So Q for 6 and drop 4. And basically fly? refill my hand. That's fine. Um, what he's gonna do? He could heal, um, destroy landmark, I don't run landmark, destroy equipment, I don't run equipment, remove keywords, I have no keywords, so I'm pretty sure it's the healing one for him. So I'm just gonna go for this. This is good, this is good. That's fine. Oh, this is amazing. Kelly can play this, uh, pl can play this this turn, but should be okay for me anyway. Um, problem with this hand is that I don't have anything to do with the elusive units for next turn, so I am mean, gonna be taking some damage, but I'm back to 18 health, so I should be fine, honestly. Again, he's depending on the top deck, so if he draws, you know, not good cards, I could win. I could go for an attack like this, it would be that bad. If he blocks with the 2-3 against these birds, that's fine. I think I'm fine just attacking like this anyway, since I have this coming up next turn anyway. Summoning two big them. birds. Mm, away with you. 
Aftershock deals. Uh, Aftershock does not deal face damage. Back in the day, Aftershock used to force 4 mana and used to do 3 damage to face. So, yeah. Now it's only deal 3 to a unit, sadly. But that's still fine. Eh, yeah, sure. Makes sense. I could just do this again, honestly. But since I have 2 blockers for his other 2 blockers, there's no need to go for this just yet. Might as well just bank the spell now. Oh, that's pretty decent, though. I will say that. I could go like progress day into this to be active. But most likely, it's gonna need to. This is gonna get duplicated, paying for the face, why not? I don't get the discount, but that's fine by me. I need to play it. So, sure. I'm gonna just do this, get two big birds out, and next turn should be later. Yep. I actually bought against a submit like Jenna deck now. Because of the healing, I backed the 18 health. So, that was amazing. Healing for 6 and draw for 4, why not? GG. Hmm, okay. Jarwin, uh, this is gonna be an insanely high matchup most of the time. Because he's gonna just develop multi region, uh, not the multi region, uh, sub deck, uh, sub units, and he's gonna play the card that gives everything a lot of stats. And that's not nice. Is Mystic Shot gonna be good? Probably not. Uh, this could be fine to develop an early unit. Messi could be good. Sure. So, discounting spells as well. Acorn, okay. So, I treat mana the knife, so that's nice, I guess. I'll just play Acorn here. I'm gonna play this to block like an Omahawk on turn 2, but that should be fine. Oh, doesn't even have Omahawk. Let's go. And I'll pass. Somehow, a sub like that is not even running. Um, what's the card? Nico. Yeah. That's uh, t quite telling that Nico just sucks in general. She's not suck, but. She only, you only get to play multi uh, uh, sub type cards, right? You have access to play that, but there's not really a lot of other plays you could do. But in the mouse, yeah, with Java, you could run like form up or single combat at least to try to respond. But a normal Nico now deck doesn't have response. He does have frostbite, but that's it really. He can't strike something down or buffing something else, right? So yeah, I was very messy here. He could have single combat, I guess, but that's fine by me. He's planning the queue messy off. Mm, really? Sure. The deny would have been two mana, but sadly I drew into you, so Acorn discounted you. He's killing his own unit as well, sure. I'll pass. Hopefully he does have Cormac Cook next turn, that'd be kinda annoying. That would be kinda annoying. Uh Mess E again, okay. Um sadly no draw card three. Questionable. I'll just pass here. He must be trying to develop another unit to get the challenger pull Acorn anyway, right? I could play this to ping this off of uh three damage. We'll see. Hmm, doesn't play anything, okay. Sure. I'm fine with taking it slow. I'm with you. I'm just going to use so this is for mana, that's cool I guess. That is concerning, but it will be. I think I'll just play Master Yi here. To restore this legacy is my greatest honor. I could actually try to kill it off with uh, Aftershock and that and Rolling next turn. Uh single combat. Oh wait, I can just easily kill that off now before when it's going to two health right. This pings for three. It's slowly killing on my Master Yi though, which is kinda concerning. Oh, I could have tried to aftershock it now. He does. He he's in failure, right? So he does have access to like, um, buff spell. So I think I should just go for this. The only buff spell I'm pretty sure with one man is just a legs of iron. So that's it. So hope to God he doesn't have a legs of iron. Hello. Oh my God! The game thought I lagged out, man. Come on! I could have played my tailstone. Oh, that's just dumb. At least I can still play this fast speed, but again, he could have protection spell, that's why I wanted to ping that last turn. If he has protection spell, you know, it is what it is. Can't do much about it. Oh, Javon as well? Okay, you gotta be kidding me, game. I gotta go for this, so I can discount you. Uh, I think I just played the 2 mana once so I can just play Messi here again. Try to let him do something at least. He also has Javon, my god. Uh, play Messi here. The lesson begins. Pass. He doesn't keep the barrier, so that's good news. Yeah, sure. Mystic shot as well. I think I just attack with uh, Messi here. If he had frostbite, that's fine. I mean, eh, uh, frostbite. Yeah, frostbite. I'm gonna try to kill Javan off this. We'll win a Mystic shot here. So he's wasting mana for frostbite. So I'm gonna go you and you. This is the five damage. The only thing that saves him here is protection spell. So gotta hope he doesn't have that. Let's go. So, sure. Wasted his frostbite and also kill off the Javan. He could try to play the egg boss card next turn though, to give everything overwhelmed. I will just try to recall it. 
Um, oh, that is annoying. He could pull off Nasty. How's the pass here, though? A quiet spirit. So, low. This is discounted. Not that bad, I guess. I'm most likely gonna recall the A drop, though. If he plays it, because that unit also has all well. I cannot deal with that just yet. I need to buy time after I draw the. Oh, doesn't happen. Okay. That's good news, I guess. Sure. I didn't want to play this because if he played the OM, I could recall it, and the problem was already gonna pull Master E, right? I'm pretty sure. But since he doesn't, he doesn't have the A cost card yet, or, or, or he's maybe not playing it just yet, I guess I could just play it slow. I think I just play this now, though, right? I think I just need to develop a 5 4 to block his 5 4. Sure. It's got buffed by the 5 cost unit. Oh, Janna here. Okay, let's go. Something to play here, actually. He's gonna attack, he's gonna pull off Master E, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I'm just gonna use the block view and get there. So I think I'm just gonna use Janna to reach out for you and Mr. Chon. Recall could be good, the knight could be good, and this is uh, a cheap unit to develop, so why not? Mr. Shot is not that good and Talstones. I wanted to go Talstones for progress day maybe, but since I have Janna, she's basically like a budget progress day, right? She's allowing me to draw three cards anyway. And discounting them by one. Actually that's kinda weird. Janna is basically like a progress day, but way cheaper. I haven't really thought about that, huh? That's kind of weird. We come so long, the power creep is just insane. Progress day was 8 mana now. This is, this is a 4 mana draw 3 card. You do need the updraft cards though, I would say that, so it's not completely broken, I guess. I guess I'll just play this and play this. And if you place the 8 cost unit here, I'll just recoil it. Because I can't, this is slow speed, I can't recoil it next turn. It's not fast speed, if only it was fast speed, right? Imagine. So sure. I'll just buff this up and just attack with him. I am with you. And I'll commit. Actually, he probably should attack with the net buff. That was a misprint by my part. Because he could just tank the damage now. I was too greedy for the draw. Hmm, okay. I could deny that, but I think I'm fine here. I think I'll just freeze off here. Probably just playing this to be shot for the one cost unit and playing this as well. So I can just get two bodies out the block. This could block the 9, this could block the OM unit. Hmm, okay, equipping. After a few. Sure, draw card. Mystic shot again. Yeah. Oh, wait, I can double Mystic shot, I guess, this turn. Do I? Um, I kinda wanna Mystic shot this OM unit because this is actually a threat. Because if this actually gets buffed by the other OM unit, I cannot deal with a 2 OM unit board. I think I just do this. Good thing I got discounted. Sadly, can't play this, but I'm fine here. I'd rather use the 2 3 to block Kanahi and take some fearsome damage. Hopefully, he doesn't have the A drop here. That'd be kind of annoying. Roland is fine, but I can't ping anyway if he plays the A drop here. Because the A drop is gonna buff everyone, everyone to unreasonable stat line, right? So we'll see. Also, somehow I'm not drawing the 6 cost card, by the way. Where's the 6 cost card? That's fine. That should not be a problem. I'll just play this. I still have uh, 3 mana to deny anyway, so I can just deny a single combat here still. Boss, okay, so Janna is gonna flip next and I'm pretty sure. I could go Clockling in the Baldwin here. That's fine. I'm gonna go Clockling here. Oh my god, this is so funny. <laughs> Why? There's no need to though. All of them have 4 health. This is not gonna be useful. Capsize is not gonna be useful. I'll just skip here. I have Okay, that's decent. That's draw card. Why not? Hmm. Okay, quick attack. Um, I could just do something like this. <laughs> sure, just recall that and he can't play that. Yeah, because it's 4 cores, he doesn't have mana, so it also increases by cores, so I guess it costs 6 now, so that's funny. Yeah, I guess maybe if this is a 1 cost unit, now he needs to spend 3 mana to play the 1 cost unit, so that's cool, I guess. I don't want to deal with a scout with Google Tag unit, that's kind of annoying. It's not attacking, sure. Actually, kind of winning because he didn't have the 8 cost unit. Good thing though, because if he had it, I probably would have lost the already. Let's just attack by this and commit. He might be planning to block the 2-3, then I'll just go I have a storm the bucket. Yep, and the skill this doggo offer as well. Sure. I don't mind uh, not pushing damage with I song. I'd rather just kill off his unit slowly but surely. Clogging this counter, sure. That's this counter, sure. I'll pass here. Bolon is prop, so he'll be a basically 3 mana 2-3. And 2 the face as well. Where's the 6th cost card? Please, come on, to double my element cards. It's not here, apparently. That's fine. Let's go clockling here. Oh my god, I'm not drawing it. Skip. What the hell is this? 
Lonely portal. Okay. I think I'll just updraft. Uh, you. I'll just play this as the one. Can I play here? So she will just draw me two cards next turn and hopefully I draw the six cost card. Oh my god, what is this? I updraft with eight corn and oh my god, you're triple discounted. Sure. I'm probably just playing this, alright? I could also just wall in this portal here. Probably don't want to go below that I mana though. Just have it, why not? Just to play it safe. The, before just seeing a card with my Jenna. Might not expect a 3 mana. Uh, sure, fast. I have pretty cheap blockers anyway for the scout unit now, it's not really a problem. Fearsome, sure, pass. I also have fearsome blocker for now anyway. Let this Give me the 6 cost card, what the hell is this? I don't need 3 mana 9 now. This is not that bad if you pop the Again, the A drop. Scout, sure. I think I just uh, use you blocking mid. Sadly, I think I need to go for the boring win. Like the boring win, I think I just need to actually just win this elusive unit. Yeah, it's definitely the boring win, but sometimes, you know, it is what it is. You gotta go for it, because you basically can't. Because I have no damage in hand, other than just elusive unit. Yeah, he's gonna champion strength, yep. I'm gonna deny it, gladly. Mid. You should have champion strength there. No way. You should have attacked champion strength, attack with scout unit, and then attack again. The pro pro probably was the better play, but... I'm gonna get it. Sure. Sure. Gonna attack with the portals as well. Doesn't, that's fine. Um, you block you when you block you, basically. You do get a pokey save, the pokey save my nexus and draw, but I think I could actually deny it. I'll just pass. He does pokey save. Oh, pokey save Acorn, makes sense. I kinda wanna deny that. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Loki think I actually need to deny that. Because I don't want to give him draw and I don't want to give him killing my acorn, right? And I'll just pass here. Give me more draw next turn, like I had a storm. Or the 6 cost you know, because double whirlwind. That stop giving me acorns. Oh, thank you, finally. Attack like this. Hopefully he doesn't have harsh winds. We're gonna have 5 health, so we're gonna go you into you thing. Oh, he does have harsh winds, come on, dude. Sure, you know, it is what it is. He still has mana to play acorns card. Bong bong. 4 mana, I don't really care. Omenhawk, that's a pretty bad draw for him. You can just play this card now. But this deals 3, right? I think I just kill Nah here. Yeah, let's just kill Nah here. And ping for the face. My vortex shall consume you. I could play Aegon here, but I don't think I need to. Just in case to play around again, very nice. I need to just play around big cards now. I'll just pass here. That's fine. Give me draw. Okay, that's actually hand. not that bad. That's progress day. That's not that good, but sure. That's fine. I'll just block the acorn and commit here. I think I'll just play this acorn again just so I can re block the 6 tree. Champion strength here again? Nah, okay. So I think I'll just draw here, I guess. Yeah, let's draw here. I'm gonna take it slow here. That's not that. That's pretty bad. That's not decent. That's decent. Okay, what do I play here? Um, that I had a storm, I can just uh, draw four. Sure, I can just recall. Recall now. Nah. Now nah would be a cost. Um, sure, why not? So now nah would be a cost because I duplicated, so increases cost by four. So now nah it'd be oh six cost. Oh wait, oh because I recall the first one, so he can actually replay now nah here. That's fine. Nah. <laughs> I thought it would actually, even though it burned, I thought it would actually still, um, it still prop to increase the cost. But if it doesn't, you know, that's fine, I guess. It's still a bit weird though. I thought it would actually increase the cost to be a cost, so you can't play not here, but it's fine, I guess. Then probably should not have recall there. That was a waste of mana because he just replay now there. So this, is, um, use you block you, use you block you. You should block they you, you should block you, and we should be fine, I'll commit here. And he should die, just die next time to elusive. I have item on as well. It's a pokey stack, but that's it really. I'll just pass here. Yep, pokey stack the face. Nah, it does flip, but that's fine. This is such a long game for no reason. <laughs> I spent so long finding my 6 drop, and he spent so long finding his 8 drop as well. Um, Cockling, sure, that's not that bad of a card. 
Another capsize, oh my god. Attack. Yep, GG. I can't even push for 4 damage. He's somehow forced by the unit. So I can draw 4 and just push the unit to a 4 attack. So, GG. Took a long time though, he won that game. So, I mean, I'm really bad. Interesting. Oh, this is most likely gonna be a wildfire deck, huh? Ah, crap. Um, does he run early game units? I'm not quite sure, honestly. Probably a bad idea to keep expensive cards though. This should be fine on turn 2. If he does actually have Samina on turn 2, this could just be a pretty good blocker. It's a 2 3. Fast stats are unit for a 2 draw. A 3 2 is fine. Because, you know, 2 health, he gets pinged very, very easily. But a 2 3 though, that's game winning. Do I play it on here? If he has Samina next turn, it is kinda, you know, bad ish. Man, but I should still play a unit. Hopefully this counts like this. This wouldn't be that bad. Omen Hawk, okay. There's no way the top deck uh, is a Samira, right? You just draw into it. It's kinda bad for me. Then the Samira is a 3 3. I can't even use the 2 3 block now. Deny. Could be good to deny like a Clash of Giants, I guess. Sure. Ah, that's fine. The 3 1. Perfect stats to block by 2 3. I'm most likely just updrafting the, the Whirlwind. Since it's not that useful anyway in early games. Ying. Yeah, I think I'll just develop you and the updraft the whirlwind. Aftershock? Does he run landmark? I'm not quite sure, honestly. But Aftershock could just paint something for 3, wouldn't be that bad, I guess. Yep. I'll just uh, bada bing bam boom and commit. Away with you. I'll pass. Is it time? Akon could deny something again. So we'll see. Um, You again, what's up? I got upgrade the Kelso, that'd be kinda of funny, but I don't think I need to upgrade anything just yet. I'd rather save up my unit so I can upgrade with Jaina, right? Which is technically way better, because she discounts, why not? And bank in the 3 mana, what if I just stop there like a Mystic Shot, I can deal with a Samina now. Hmm, healing, okay. I'll just commit here. Hopefully he doesn't have anything to turn 4. He could be running Ramp or Siege of the Storm, he could play one of those cards I guess. Hmm, doesn't do anything. I think I would just upgrade you. I could upgrade you, but 3 mana seems kinda crazy to upgrade. If I draw into it, it's 2 mana though, I would say that. But probably just upgrading these two. Hear me. You and hope to god he doesn't have like a. something to kill Jenna off. Yep, let's go. He's also wait technically waiting 2 mana, so that's interesting. That's amazing. I could Don't cheat it out. That's probably game winning, actually. Okay. So these are the probably insane units to discount. The problem with this play is the fact that. He runs AoE damage spells, so oh, okay. I can actually gladly play it, right? The sad thing is I don't have I don't really have anime cards in my hand though. I do have this, but that's it really. But you know what I gotta go for it. It's one in a lifetime that this actually gets discounted and you can play on turn five and your opponent most likely doesn't have anything to do with it. You could have like this in the grain into uh, Avalanche and that would be a bad time though. Oh not one, wow, okay. Sure. I don't need multiple copies of it though. I I think I know what he's going for. He must be going for like a yeah, I must be going for like attack and support thing. Like I kinda attacks the Sure. This is gonna be problematic. So we'll just have to wait and see. Then I just play Clockwing here. Maybe find other element cards. Like this is insane. To duplicate, sure. It's four mana. Thankfully three mana now. But I, uh I can't play it just yet. It'd be pretty small of a bird to actually play it for now. I thankfully need to play other early game element cards to buff it up. I think I'll just gladly go for this right. Yeah, they are just glad to go for this. No one technically going to now the below the 9 mana, but I'm cool with that actually. And pretty good at top deck these because I can just play them and just summon 2 1 blockers to block these 2 if he actually plans on attacking here. How much Jenna away from flipping? 3 out of 6. Next turn, she, she could potentially flip, but we'll see. He's attacking, yep, sure. Again, that is not really a problem. I can just block 2 ones. Bingo bang and commit. I could play this next turn, something pretty decently big unit, so I can just go for this, honestly. It wouldn't be that bad. Uh, it's also buffing future, you know, block wins, future spells. I think I'll just go for this, you know, sure. Just try to go for, go big or go home, right? Have some fun. Probably playing this at a medium size, stat-wise, stat should be okay, but, you know, go big or go home, as I always say. Jenna again, sure. Gonna become Ida Storm anyway. I can just block like this. It's actually not that bad because if he plans on using the 5 tree to block the 2 1, I can just go Ida Storm to buff its stats. So, you know, it dies. 
You must be going for Legion Marauders as well, like the unit that attacks and gives every copies of it, plus plus one plus one, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, he's going for all attack and support plays. Body Bear is actually technically an attack play as well, because you attack, you, you summon uh, Relentless Storms as well when he flips. I think I'm just going for this as well, right? Just so I can draw a card. Oh, draw, well, actually crap. <laughs> I'm gonna be milling myself, that's nice. Sure. I forgot that there's also element spell by the way. Yeah, pass. Why could he cheat out with Sam mana? I don't think he can do a lot to be honest. There's 3 mana now, that's interesting. I think I can burn him down to be honest, right? I have Mystic Shots, I do have Whirlwinds in my deck still. I'm just not drawing to it, but it should be fine. I'm most likely just passing here though, I need to have a mana for the 9, just in case. He somehow has the AoE spell. Yeah, I'm thinking I just pass here and just go capsize next turn, it's gonna be so unlucky for him. Remember, um, oh, milling a Janna is kinda bad, but it should be fine. Remember, um, capsize is recoil enemy and increases the cost of the next, uh, next unit this turn. So this is an element spell by the way. So the next unit he's gonna be playing increases by, uh, 4 cost. But not that he can play it, but I'm just, you know, saying it just in case. It'd be so funny. Sure, I'm just gonna recall this. This Ionia spell is so dumb. <laughs> Imagine like if he plays a 4 cost unit, right? I just recall him and the 4 cost unit is now an 8 cost unit because it gets duplicated and increases the cost. That's just so dumb. That should not exist. At least it's slow speed, so it's not really that uh, annoying. You can try to respond with any fast speed spell, but it's still equally as annoying. It's still equally as stupid as it is. I'm thinking I just mystic shot you and just go for this and just level Janna here and just push for big bird damage. Because this will get to be get right, so I'll be getting two copies of it. There's nothing here to do with 3 mana anyway. I should not be worried about this. You could attack, but I can just block Vega on a clock lane anyway. They're not that important at, at this point. Yep, go bingo bango. So now Janna discounts uh, every card I draw, there's no limit, and she'll just attack for illusive damage and two big bursts so that he needs to block. Yeah, sure. I feel like Janna did not need to have elusive. I know every level champion has a keyword, basically, but there's no just don't give a champion keyword, man. That's, that's so stupid at the fact that she has elusive. She, she's now a threat. She's already a threat, and now she can, you can even attack with her, making her even stupid, but sure. Yeah, just, just GG. He's playing a slow deck anyway, so recalling a one big unit is game winning. Has been rewarded.